home so you guys like I was saying earlier I had refilled my prescriptions and I called my mother and asked her to pick them up for me it's three and I asked her to give me some bread which she did get and she was so happy to buy me some chips like she was thinking of me that's so sweet but, um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get me some, we'll go ahead and get my snack together for tonight. So, yeah, I'll be back later vlogging, but I got me some bread so I can eat me a salad. Mm -hmm. Hi, you guys. I was just coming to you with a vlog to raise awareness about um, being an organ and tissue donor. I have been an organ and tissue donor since I was able to have an ID. Um, I haven't had a problem with being an organ and tissue donor. I have heard just horrible stories about um, people's family members being in horrible accidents and they're, they thought that the doctors didn't do everything they could to save their family member because they wanted to sell their organs or give it to someone or whatever the case may be. They thought that the doctors didn't do everything they could. So, um, yeah. But I think that it's very important to be an organ and tissue donor because you could save so many lives, you could touch so many people. Um, I know I was just reading today about this girl who had tragically drowned. Um, she was on vacation with her family in Florida and she, when she tragically drowned and um, her heart, kidney, lungs, and liver had went to four different people and her eyes and skin had went to other people. So that was quite a, a, well, a significant amount of people. Their lives were changed. And, um, you know, they were coming into a new thing. And that that's just awesome. That's great to me. So my message today is just to talk to your family members about being an organ and tissue donor. Um, get some facts straight. Don't just be scared. Don't go off of what other people say. You know, just think about if that was you in that position. It's very, you know, near and dear and close to my heart because I do need a heart transplant. And, you know, it's just, it's crazy for us to think about that you have to die or someone you love have to die so that somebody else can live but you should think about it as that person living on through that other person so that's just a great and beautiful thing you know the lord keeps on giving life keeps on giving so yeah i just say just talk to your family and just try to be an organ and tissue donor um yeah, that's all I wanted to vlog about and rant. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and share my page. <laughs> um, I'm grateful to everyone who likes, likes subscribes, and shares my pages, um, my YouTube channel. I just thank you everybody for the support even though i only have like 12 12 subscribers but you know whatever <laughs> but um yeah thank you love you guys as you can see i'm laying down about to get in the shower and go to bed not like i have anything to do tomorrow but i do have something to do but you know, whatever. Good night. Love you guys. See you next time.
just want to vlog this morning the light in my apartment is great but yeah I'm still laying down in the bed I've been up for a while but I'm still laying around hoping that I can go back to sleep it's just I really be tired during the day <sighs> because I get up so early and it's not like I could just go back to sleep I wish that it was that easy but it's not so um yeah um I had to vlog to tell you guys to look at my vlog from yesterday um just telling you to discuss with your family your friends about being on the organ and um tissue transplant i mean tissue in the organ and tissue donor i think it's very important um one because I mean why wouldn't you want to be an organ and tissue donor why would you want to keep them when you can live on through so many other people you can bless someone else so many times um not only that but it's it's just people it's really good people that are on a transplant list that have been waiting for years to get a heart, to get lungs, to get liver, to get kidneys, you know, just whatever. And I think that you should do that. There's no need for you to keep them. I mean, what is it gonna hurt or make a difference that, okay, when you were a baby, you used to have your heart, your lungs, whatever. Um, but I do understand for some um, religions that they don't believe in that or whatever the case may be but I'm hoping that they will change their mind um, yeah I just say just give it up because so many people waiting on the transplant list and they wind up dying um, like the fellow YouTuber Aisha Sharon, she has been waiting on and off for nine years. And I just think that's sad. I think that it's somebody out there that matches her that could have given her a gift, a beautiful gift, but they were scared or their family, their family didn't want to do it. It's just really crazy, but I just hope and pray that you just find my video, find her video, and let us be inspirations to you, you know, people that need transplants. Um, yeah. That's all I have to rant and rave about this morning. But I just wanted to put that out there. Thank you guys. See you guys later.